what's going on guys make sure we drive tech back again with yet another tech video for you guys and hope everyone's healthy and safe in this video we're going to be looking at the og case from autobox which is the autobox defender i have right here and i have it in two colors the blue one as well as the black because i have actually two iphone 12 pro max colors to show you which is the pacific blue as well as the gold to show you how they fit in with the color of this case so i'm sure many people are very familiar with the autobox defender because it's been around for a very long time and probably many people's first case because when people think of autobox they think of drop protection they think of the autobox defender but uh, in this version they have actually trimmed it down and made it much better in terms of the user experience when you're using your device so i'll show you that in a moment and i think it's a good step in the right direction for companies just like this because keeping the same old design for years and years and years is just getting too boring and honestly i like what autobox have done with their defender line of cases of course it's not really my go-to case because of the bulkiness I, i'm still not a big fan of the bulkiness right now my two go-to cases are actually the one from apple the official apple leather case as well as this uh, aramid carbon fiber case which i reviewed so if you're interested i'll leave it in the i card above or in the description below so before we begin the unboxing and look at the new and improved order box defender do consider subscribing to this channel for more content just like this and also ding the notification bell so you can get notified on the latest content which i post and i try to post on wednesdays and fridays all right so without further ado let's get right into the unboxing of the order box defender All right guys, so I'm back. As you can see I have two 12 Pro Max right here. The blue one actually just came in the mail last Saturday or Friday, if I'm not mistaken. So this is a uh, very new compared to this. This I got it on launch day in Malaysia, which was the 13th of November. All right, so let's get right into the cases itself. So the packaging has been trimmed down. So now that it's like a cutout right here, so you can actually see and touch the case. Not sure how good is that in terms of hygiene. I wish they actually put like some sort of classic layer or something to cover the case but anyways it is what it is all right so on the front you can see auto box defender on the bottom you can see drop tested four times military standard so this is all military standard drop tested not auto box certified drop protection anymore so i think this is a more reliable source because all the other companies like uag like even Spigen, Rinky, all these they are going for military standard so it's a good thing that, that auto box has actually changed to that standard so at least we can get an idea on how tough their cases are but in day-to-day -day use of course uh, it may vary because people have broken their phones before even in tough cases so yeah it depends on your luck i guess but anyways this case is actually really really proven in terms of all the years people have been using it it has really protected their device all right we also have multi-layer defense and wireless charging compatible all right so when it comes to a wireless charging that's where i actually have to talk about it later through this video because i actually took both these cases out for real world tests to make sure that the case doesn't affect any of the functionality of the phone all right so you can see this is also for the iphone 12 pro max 5g compatible so it doesn't impede any of the functions 5g but of course malaysia we do not have 5g at the moment it's still in testing so this is a new design right on the side we get the defender branding on the back okay four times as many drops as military standards almost the same thing so military standard 810g okay so right here we have pop protection raised edges and of course the quality and the kickstand which basically the kickstand majority of people will not use the kickstand because it makes it even more bulky than it already is all right so let's uh, unbox this all right so here we have auto box global limited warranty uh, the cases usually do not have any issues so far i've been using i never claimed a single case from them so for me i think the warranty is just there for safe measure all right so let's put that to the side let's focus on the case itself all right so at the back here you do have some instructions on how to install and on the upside down so you can see install just have to take off the rubber portion and then unclip the inner portion and then just snap it back together i'll show you that in a moment all right guys so here is the belt holster this is also a kickstand if i'm not mistaken yep this is also a kickstand so you can rotate it 360 degrees and you can position your phone at any angle for example by the way the purchase with purchase promo is still on so if you're a malaysian viewer and you do want to get an auto box case or live proof case you can hit me up on Instagram at drytech underscore official and I can hook you up with a very good deal for their 
tempered glass screen protectors, the OtterBox tempered glass screen protectors, which I totally recommend. And I'm using on both these devices as well. All right, so coming back to the case, all right, this is where all the drop protection happens. So this foam actually provides a lot of uh, shock absorption. You can see right here, in case you do drop, it absorbs the shock. So if you drop your phone like back first, it will definitely absorb the shock and prevent your iPhone back glass from cracking because you know this is not like their latest glass, this is like the ion strengthening glass. So it's not like really, really durable in the sense compared to the front glass. So this will help absorb all the shock and prevent your phone from getting damaged, right? So let me take apart this case. All right guys, so this is the tricky part where you have to actually release all the clips around the case. You have to do it very carefully and slowly, otherwise these clips will break. All right, so just like that, you have a three-part case right now. Okay, so something I do not really like about Defender as compared to the Commuter or the Symmetry series is that your phone is actually in contact with hard plastic rather than TPU. So the only thing that is actually soft and protective is actually this memory foam right here. So I don't know, I'm not really a big fan of the design. I wish they actually added some padding on the inside. All right, so let's put the phone in right here. So I have my Gold 12 Pro Max. I suggest you to clean your device first before installation because it's going to be the pain in the butt to actually take it out. All right, so let me show you how to put it in. Just put it in the back first, just like that. You can see your phone is pretty loose, but once you snap on the top portion, it gives you a very nice fit. All right, so now snapping in all the corners, just like this. Make sure all the corners are snapped in place before installing the TPU portion. All right, now let's install the TPU side. So, okay, for this, I actually do like to install it bottom first because I like to make sure the pop protectors do not get stretched. So the bottom in first, and then you just loop it over. Very simple and easy. All right, guys, so here we are. We actually successfully installed the Defender on the 12 Pro Max. All right, let's take a look around the case. All right, so on the back, you can see very big cutout. It's a very generous cutout for your triple lens setup. You can see auto box branding as usual. All right, so taking a look at the bottom, you can see there's a pop protector right here, but there are speaker cutouts as well as microphone cutouts. There's no mesh here. So in terms of dust protection, yes, these are going to be exposed, but your phone is already IP68, so it's sort of dust resistant. But however, I would like to see some mesh grills here. All right, so let's flip open this pop protector. And see right here, this is a very big cutout for your lightning port. So I do like to keep my pop protectors because the pop protectors actually prevent gunk from getting stuck in the lightning port and causing problems in the future. So yeah, I, I like pop protectors, but there are many people who do not like. So I guess you can cut it off. I'm not very sure, but that will be, definitely that will void the warranty. All right guys, so taking a look at the left side, you can see your volume up and down buttons, which are very, very responsive. I do like the tactility of the buttons on the Defender because they are pretty soft, but they are not mushy as well. Just right. All right, so let's take a look at this pop protector here. This is where your mute and ring toggle is, so it's covered. I use assistive touch, so this is not really a problem for me. All right, so taking a look at the right side, your power button, very clicky as well basically nothing all right so take a look at the front this is where autobox actually trim the fat so which means basically the case has better user experience i should say so as you know iphones are very based on gesture right so you can see autobox has actually made lip on the top and the bottom but not on the sides because this is where you do your swiping back gesture and honestly what they have done is actually genius because now it's so much easier to swipe from the left and from the right there's nothing like blocking your finger from swiping back and also from the bottom, you see I have no problems right here. You can see the passcode actually came on, which means it is working. So they've actually refined the case to make sure that the features on the iPhone, the gesture features, in fact, work very well. So that's that's what I do like about the Defender as compared to the LifeProof Next, which is basically a, a tank of a case. But in terms of user experience, I think this case gives me better user experience. All right, so coming back to the wireless charging function, where something I do have to highlight the wireless charging works. Yes, it does work, but it depends on what brand of charger you're using. So for me, I have a Nomad 3-in-1 wireless charger that has the Apple Watch charger as well as the triple wireless coil. That doesn't charge with this case. 
I've tried it, I've tried to reposition it, I've tried so many ways, but the wireless charger just refused to work through this case. But when I tried it on the Mophie wireless charger, which I bought back during the iPhone 10 era, uh, that worked. That definitely worked, but I had to get the right position because I think what it's affecting is not only the thickness, it's also the new MagSafe uh, charger, the magnets right here. So I think that also plays a role because even the official leather case, I'm still finding it hard to actually get the right spot because I bet the wireless charging area, the surface area is actually smaller due to the magnets because you know, wireless charging and metal, aluminum in fact, do not really work that well, especially if you have magnets as well. I think that just makes wireless charging even harder to adjust or get the right position. Yes, wireless charging works, but you have to be careful of what brand of wireless charger you're using. I bet Belkin would work as well because different brands have different design in their wireless charger because Nomad has actually designed it to have a small ladder portion on the top. I bet that actually increased the thickness. So basically, the thicker the surface, the less likely you're going to be able to get wireless charging to work, especially on the Autobox Defender. All right, so let's take out the blue one right here. So let's take a look at the blue of this case. Let's take the iPhone 12 Pro Max Pacific Blue and compare the color. Definitely not the same shade of blue. All right, so let me get my phone installed and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I got my Pacific Blue 12 Pro Max installed as you can see. Not to say it's really not matching, but it's pretty all right, I should say. However, I wish they did not put this gray off-white sort of off-white border because I think that destroys the look of the case but anyways it is what it is everything feels the same but of course after a while if you are like me and you change your cases pretty often the chances of this case getting loose especially the TPU portion is very high because you can see this thing is actually pretty loose because I've actually taken this out a couple of times because I have to do some testing before I do the review but this is the probably the second time I'm actually installing the phone in this case and everything fits like a glove so yeah the tpu actually does wear out over time so it's something you have to take note about so the, the defender is basically a case when you buy you use it for basically the life of the lifespan of the iphone so you do not want to take it out and install it back in too often but talking about the price of this case this case retails at 269 ringgit so definitely doesn't come in cheap but uh, of course, with the new and improved design, definitely is a case that I would recommend. And more so if you do not use wireless charging, yeah, I, I can recommend this case. But if you do use wireless charging like me, I think this case is a hit or miss, I should say. It's not a case that I can 100% recommend because you might have to default wired charging when using this case. All right, so this concludes my video for this week. If you do want to purchase the Autobox Defender or any life-proof Autobox cases in Malaysia, you can hit me up on Tritech underscore official and I can get you some freebies as well to go along with your case as well as an alpha amplifier glass protector promo so thanks guys for watching i hope you did like it if you did like it do hit the thumbs up button and i'll see you guys in the next video